everyone, Alex here from the Chaos Player team. And in this video, I want to show you how to use the new contact sheet to lay out different versions of a shot for review or the render channels in a multi-channel image sequence. Let's start with a simple project where I have this image sequence loaded. I have different versions of this shot where it's created in warm or cold colors. There's this new icon on the toolbar that enables the contact sheet. And if we enable it, it creates a sheet with some default options. We can change the sheet options by right-clicking on the icon. We can choose how many columns and rows we want in the sheet. There's three layers, and to have them all side by side, three columns on one row would be perfect. And instead of putting in the numbers myself, we have this Auto button here that suggests the best fit. And if I click it, it'll create exactly what I need. We can control the resolution of the sheet from here. This is the resolution that will be used if we export the sheet. So if we need some standard resolution for it, we can put in something like UHD. But in this case, I need to see the tracks in their full resolution, which will be their accumulated size. The Auto option for resolution will calculate this for me. And here's the result. We can also specify a margin around each track. So for example, if I put in 10 pixels, they'll leave some space around each image. This will resize the images down to fit them in the sheet resolution. So clicking Auto again for the resolution will account for the margin size as well. And finally, we can have labels with background. The labels are taken from the layer names, so I can quickly change this to something more meaningful. Now I can export this sheet to a video file or a sequence, or save it as a player project. I'll make sure that the zoom is at 100%, and that pan and zoom are applied to the composition. And now I can simply export a video. Next, let's look at how we can work with a multi-channel VXR sequence and lay out all the render channels to a sheet. There's an option to expand the sequence to layers, which gets me all the image channels. But since this only gives me the channels and I want my beauty pass to be there, I'll first duplicate the track. Now I can right click and select Expand into Layers. Let's enable the sheet to see what we have. It keeps the last settings I used, which won't work in this case. I'll let it choose a sheet size for me. But the automatic resolution is way too large. Maybe something like 6000 by 2000 will work for me. When using image channels, the label is taken from the channel name. You're not using a channel when the source is set to default, which is the beauty. So in this case, the label is auto-generated from the channel name. And by the way, if you only need some of the tracks to be added to a sheet, you simply need to select them. Otherwise, when there's nothing selected or just a single track is selected, everything is added to the sheet. Now let's look at how we can use command flags to control the sheet so we can automate the whole process. I'll put a link in the description to the command line documentation. We have the set sheet enabled flag, which we can set to zero or one. Then we have the sheet options flag that controls the sheet parameters. And for example, if you want to apply a six by five sheet, that's six K by two K in resolution, you put into numbers like this. We don't want any margins, so we pass a zero here. And then we pass one to have labels and one to have them with background. Finally, let's make a script that does something meaningful. We need it to load the sequence, so we'll give it a path to an image sequence. We'll duplicate the track once loaded, so we keep the beauty pass. We'll expand the image channels to layers. We'll need to enable the sheet and set some options for it. For example, we want a 6x5 grid, and we want it 6000 by 2000 in resolution. We don't want margins but we want to have labels, and we want the labels to have background. And we'll make sure to set the zoom to 100%, and we apply pan and zoom to the composition. We'll need to export the composition to a video file, so we'll choose an output path, and finally instruct player to exit once it completes the task. And there we have it. I hope you find this useful, and I hope you find good use for the contact sheet in Chaos Player Update 1. Thank you for watching.